<laughs> Thank you. Hi everyone, Thank the Utano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new The Comet Is Coming album, Trust in the Life Force of the Deep Mystery. This is the second full-length album from UK-based jazz trio The Comet Is Coming, who I was turned on to last year by some viewers after my review of the best jazz album of 2018, Sons of Kemet's Your Queen is a Reptile, an excellent album that features the jazz stylings of Shabaka Hutchings, who also masterminded a 2016 album that I should have reviewed. I suck. But anyway, some viewers were telling me that because I loved Hutchings playing on that Sons of Kemet record, I will most likely enjoy his input in this other group that he is a part of. The Comet is coming. And also the group presents a pretty exciting fusion of jazz and electronics. And it just so happens that they put out a record the year after I found out about their existence, so why not talk about it? And I'm pretty glad I strayed into this album because it's a really great combination of everything. Jazz does certainly sit at the root of nearly everything the trio does, but they somehow effectively fuse it into a successful space rock excursion, some sax sled freak hip-hop, an almost dubstep-inspired jam, some neo-psychedelic jazz rock, and the third track of this thing, which I could really only describe as propulsive, kraut, Rockian, new wave, psych, jazz stuff. Across this relatively trim record, the band manages to cover a lot of different jazz fusions, some of which feel entirely original, or at least on the cutting edge of the cutting edge, from another dimension at the very least. I love the opening cut and closing cut on this record, both of which bookend this album with some heavy, droning, mind-bending spiritual jazz, but both have very different tones. The opening cut on this thing is much more ominous and foreboding, kind of dark, a little mystical. Sounds like it's coming straight out of uh, a psychedelic, surreal, desert uh, spirit journey experience. Meanwhile, the closing cut on this thing is much lighter on the ears, kind of heavenly, almost like a, a sweet bit of closure after we have been through a very strange exploration of the mind, body, and soul. The atmospheres around both of these tracks feel space-age and otherworldly. The track Birth of Creation is like a weird fusion of like this steady, very meditative, almost like wonky inspired beat music. A little bit of these sweet ringing kind of glitchy synth keys that feel like they're pulled out of a James Blake song. And floating all over all of this you have these very deep and low and kind of strange reed notes. I think the pacing and the progression of the track is a little stale, but I do like the aesthetic of it quite a bit. Sonically it is a very odd marriage of these jazz reeds and electronic bits. The track Summon the Fire that I mentioned earlier, the third cut off of this thing, I love the propulsion and the thrust of this track. An incredible pulse, an incredible pace to it. Hutchings throws all of these reverb and delay-soaked saxes on top of it, just squawking and screaming away. It's like the theme song to an old kid's sci-fi show, but all of the characters, while they explore, like, alien territory and stuff like that, they also play jazz. The track Super Zodiac is kind of interesting because it does feature Hutchings going back to that uh, kind of aggressive, squawky, stuttering solo style that he performed so well on that last Sons of Kemet record, it almost feels like I'm listening to uh, the very same build or concept of a song from that album, but just with like an electronic backdrop. The song Astral Flying feels like what you would get if you took modern jazz composition and fused it with like some old school progressive synth music, something almost along the lines of a tangerine dream, with all of these spacey and very steady synth arpeggios just kind of repeating away, providing a very steady backdrop. Then there's maybe what's my favorite track on the entire record, and that is Blood of the Past, which is insanely heavy, crushing, massive, gigantic, kind of distorted, sludgy bass line that feels like it's lifted out of an Electric Wizard song. The tone of the instrumentation is dark, it is dystopian. The track eventually progresses into a great vocal feature from UK rapper Kate Tempest, who delivers a very sobering verse about what seems like the, the world that we could live in, where people understand each other and there's a greater appreciation for um, nature and so on and so forth, but yet also an acknowledgement of everything standing in the way of that, essentially. And then the finish of this thing, the way all the instrumentation kind of crashes and 
just heavily drones on, feels like something out of a swan's track. It's a really blistering song, the longest on the album, and really the most fulfilling. So there are a lot of tracks that individually I think are amazing on this record, though I wish there was a bit more thematic and aesthetic cohesion between a lot of these tracks across the track listing as a whole record, it does kind of feel like a, a bit of a jumble of different ideas kind of being thrown out there. For the most part, they're all well done and all well executed. Really, it's just the flow of the record feeling a little all over the place. Not to mention there are a few tracks that maybe get a little stale in their progression, a few more that uh, kind of underwhelm, like the track Unity, which I do like the intimate and very low-key vibe of that song. I feel like, you know, maybe there should be kind of a breather before the last track on this thing, but compositionally, it's not the most memorable on the album. And also for a jazz record, even if it is fused with like half a dozen or more different genres across its runtime, I do wish there was a bit more improvisation on all fronts throughout the record. A lot of it sort of seems to be left up to the sax and occasionally the percussion. But for the most part, more improvisation, more experimentation, maybe on the electronic front on this record, I think could have made it a bit more exciting. Still, I do appreciate how forward and punchy and catchy and thrilling a lot of the cuts on this record are. And I certainly appreciate how much the comet is coming is just trying to bring this genre into the next decade by bringing it together with so many other sounds and styles and doing such a great and a tasteful job. I'm feeling a decent too strong eight on this thing. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, The Comet is Coming, forever.